hello everyone welcome to wordpress boffins uh, this is your host mizan this is another brand new video from my wordpress management series so far we have learned about how to install wordpress a quick look at the wordpress dashboard and also we have learned about the commonly used wordpress terms in today's video i'll discuss what is post what is post category how to post in wordpress so let's get started In WordPress, post means a normal content that we post regularly in a WordPress website. WordPress is primarily known as a blogging content management system. The regular content that we post in WordPress is also uh, is known as the posts. It means like a diary, we post based on a dates on the WordPress post system. It could be archived based on dates, months and also categories. So what is category? Category is simply the segmentation of content under different types or names. So, what is WordPress post category then? To understand WordPress post category, let's think of a website that produces recipes and mainly meat based recipes. Now, there are different types of meat that we can make recipes for. For example, a recipe could be for chicken, beef, goat, sheep. And many other forms of meat now all the recipes are posts and a recipe of a type of meat is the category of that post hope that makes sense if not don't worry we'll do a practical demonstration now let's make a post and category practically inside of the wordpress content management system to make a post uh, i'm going to go to the wordpress dashboard and uh, before that i would like you to you know subscribe my channel so that i can make more content and please uh, share your thoughts about uh, what types of content do you like to have on my channel or what is your opinion about my content how i can improve it and uh, how i can produce more uh, content that are beneficial to you okay so now let's go to the wordpress dashboard uh, from now on i will use lab.wpboffins.com as my uh, primary website for this course before i have used another domain uh, local setup but now i'm going to do it on the web server so that you can uh, later see what i have done on this website okay so this is the wordpress dashboard and we are going to uh, work with the post uh, option of this menu of wordpress dashboard if you look at the lower left corner of this screen you will see that whenever i am uh, hovering over the post there is a link and also when i hover over the all post there is also the same link so it means that if you click here or here you will have the same thing so i'm clicking on it it has taken me to the posts that i have already posted on this wordpress okay so these are the posts that already have been posted on this website and if you look here there is a button named add new and there is also another menu items named add new so both of them actually does the same thing so if you look here and if you, your eyes are on the lower left corner of the screen at this moment you'll see that link are same so you can click here or here no problem those will do the same thing so i'm clicking here and you will see the wordpress dashboard so at this moment it's a block editor uh, we can use classic editor if we, we like we are we have already seen that in our previous video how to bring the classic editor if you want to use that i'm not going uh, to do that again so in the block editor here you you give the wordpress post title that is the uh, title of the content and post is simply content by the way so i'm giving here is my post title and these are blocks different blocks where you can put your content and uh, for that i am taking help of a website named lipsum 
so from here I'm taking some content so the process gets quicker and easier okay so in this way we can add content and then if you are ready to pu publish it you can hit publish things like that okay so if we click on the view post we can see the post on the front page of our website or the front end of our website now uh, if I go back to the all post I'll see that my new posts are already here and it's under uncategorized so if I click on the title or in the edit same thing happens and I can change the category from here and uh, right now there is only uncategorized category I can cre cre create a category on the fly from here like let's say it's a, a chicken recipe chicken recipe if I hit enter then it will be added on the system and I'm just unticking the uncategories and updating the post and if I click on the icon I will go back to the WordPress post dashboard and I will see that it's all under the chicken recipe pardon me for the typo I have just uh, made a typo on the name so if I go to the categories I will see the categories already uh, that I have on this what was installation so chicken recipe so I can easily edit it by clicking on edit or on the name and I'm just now going to correct the uh, name of it and if you see uh, there is a, a slug name uh, there is an option named slug slug means uh, the permalink or the URL friendly SEO friendly URL to be honest uh, that will see whenever uh, someone types the URL on the web browser or click on a link like that so we can we, we have to you know correct this one also and I can just hit update and I have already discussed about slug on the commonly used WordPress terms uh, so in WordPress you can't give space you have to give either underscore or dash in the slug but it's a uh, common practice and uh, mo much more recommended of giving dash so we have given dash here okay so I'm going back to the category and we can create category from here like uh, let's say it's a beef recipe so I have to create recipe then slug if if we don't give any slug by ourselves or press will automatically generate the slug based on the uh, words and uh, followed by a dash and then followed by the words and so on if there is multiple words it will give multiple uh, dash between them but we can also you know give our own slug like this let's say beef recipe by It's on okay so this is just to demonstrate that you can give slug as you want and there is an option named parent category from here you can give a parent category under that it could be a child category if you don't give any uh, category as parent category it will be under none and that will be the parent category by itself and we can also give a description for the category uh, but for now I'm not giving that anyway so yeah so this is here and uh, you can see that beef recipe is already here and the slug that I have selected that is also there and if there is uh, two similar uh, category I mean uh, category with same name it will still be a category but the slug will be different uh, like let's say I'm clicking on it it will be changed uh, okay so yeah the uh, beef recipe is already there so we can't give same one but before it could be it could be uh, given but maybe WordPress has updated this one and which is good so you can't you, you can't give the same name uh, anymore okay so that's a good thing so yeah in this way we can post and we can create category in WordPress I hope uh, you have enjoyed this uh, small nifty video and uh, small tips about how to use WordPress I'll see you in the next video where we will discuss about the tags which I haven't covered if you have seen in this video.
um, tags needs some different uh, kind of understanding and description so I have uh, uh, put that for another separate video because that deserve a separate video okay uh, that's it for today and uh, I hope you have enjoyed and you have learned how to make a post and how to make categories and you have you have got a clear picture about what is post and what is category in wordpress i will see you in the next video take care bye bye